So I have a couple videos I did about this matrix lamp, but they were all sort of work in progress things and they got a little bit tedious and messy. I wanted to do a really short consolidated overview of the, of the project. So first thing is I wanna be really clear up front. This is not my original idea or design. Uh, this comes from um, someone named Mark14 on the Glowforge community forum and I'll leave a link in the description to that post. Um, he came up with the idea and he's done a lot of these different uh, lamps and he sells them. Uh, he did give permission for uh, other people to make them and um, I asked if I could redesign it because I wanted to, uh, first of all, I wanted to learn Fusion 360 CAD and I also wanted to change the slot widths a little bit for different material and he said that was okay. So while I didn't come up with this design, uh, this is completely created from scratch um, and I did do the electronics, which was kind of um, a part that I found very interesting. So let's kind of talk about that. So what's inside of here um, is one of these flexible LED matrixes. Uh, as you can tell from the video, that can be bent into a cylinder. So that goes inside of there. Um, and these are really handy for doing all kinds of things like that. Um, and besides that, of course, is the hardware that runs it. So if I can get the lid off, which I probably can't, there we go. Um, you may or may not be able to see down in there, but I will show you what's down in there. Basically this. So I thought it would be fun to try to see how minimal of a parts count I could put in this thing. And I eventually decided on just using the Atmel um, AT Mega 328, which is the chip that's used in the Arduino, um, and nothing else. So I did end up with the uh, minimal support circuitry for it, which is a single capacitor and a resistor. But that's basically it, just the single bare chip running the whole thing. Um, and uh, well, this is a prototype board. I did eventually get some PCBs made so I could make a bunch of these for family and friends and stuff and give them away. But um, that's basically what it is. So one of these things, one of these things, one of these things, put it all together and you got kind of a cool lamp. It was an interesting programming challenge because the um, this 8-bit processor has, I, I forget exactly how much off the top of my head, but it has very little storage space um, and very little RAM. So coming up with a bunch of different patterns that I can display on here, um, and then uh, writing and optimizing the code to use uh, as little resources as possible was a, a fun programming challenge. If you like to do kind of artsy um, stuff like that, I'm trying to put this top on while I'm talking, I might as well stop distracting myself. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, just wanted to kind of do a quick overview of that. I will put, um, this stuff's all on GitHub if you want to uh, recreate it, um, or I guess if you really want, uh, I can probably throw one of these things in an envelope for you. Um, I ordered, you know, whatever the minimum is like 10 PCBs, um, and I use like two of them. So got a bunch of spares and, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll just let this cycle through one or two patterns and wrap up the video. I'll just wrap it up now, whatever. Bye.